Hello everybody, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the beer today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. We got a, another beer here from Shafley. This is their Hell Style Summer Lager. And it's the end of summer here and uh, we want to get these beers out of here so we can get on with the fall, the rest of the fall, and then on to the winter beers. This says Bottle with Love on 05, 01, 2012. So this was made June, July, August, September, October. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, at the end of its uh, lifetime so we probably should have enjoyed this a little bit still. It is going to be <laughs> a very light, sessionable beer, I'm sure. Uh, more what I typically call a lawnmower beer, guys. So, uh, uh, of course, uh, Chef is out of St. Louis, Missouri. It is a, uh, like I said, a hell style lager or Munich lager, 4.50 ABV for ABV. So it's very low on the alcohol. That's another reason why you shouldn't sell our beer like this because of the low alcohol. It'll go bad every time or start to taste a little funky. Especially if it's not cellar correctly and it sits out on the shelf for a long time. Uh, the food pranks for this beer, cuisines, German, cheeses of buttery, brie de gouda, Havarti, Swiss, uh, and the meat for this is pork, fish, and shellfish. Glass bars of poop, poop. The fluke, Pilsner glass, or the pokel. I guess that's a cross between a fluke and a Pilsner is a pook. Uh, and this beer is not recommended for standard cellar, guys. It's been a low ABV, like I said. So let's get the cap off this puppy. See what it tastes like. And like I said, I'm expecting a very light, very sessionable lawnmower slash weed eater beer. Uh, it's probably going to look just like a Budweiser or something in a glass here. Very golden yellow. Very light, crisp, sessionable beer, more than likely. Over to the uh, light, it is very, very pale colored. I. I I think it's a filtered beer. It is fairly clear. It's not cloudy, but there is a little bit of a chill haze on it. Just come right out of the fridge at 40 degrees. So. Looks like I looks exactly like I expected to look. A lot of bubble streaming up. Didn't pour a monster head. I didn't pour it super aggressive because I didn't want a monster head. All right, guys, let's get a nose on this one. Very. Very typical of what this style of beer. A little bit of lemon citrusy going on there. Very grassy, grainy smelling to me. Very lagerish, pilsner type smell. A little bit of breadiness. Smells very crisp. Nice summer day. Exactly what you want when you've been out in the yard working or come home from work and you've been hot and sweaty and you don't sit in an office uh, in the air conditioning all day. This will be more appealing to you, I would think. It's my opinion, guys, because I've never had an office job. <laughs> yeah, smells just like a lager. Cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah. Very nice, though. I mean, it's, it's thin, crisp, lemony, citrusy, bready. Nice. A very, uh, a very typical, a very typical lager, guys. It's uh, exactly what I expected it to be. Something very refreshing on a hot summer day. Not something you would seek out if you're looking for something with a lot of taste. This is going to be one of those you want to drink two or three of them just to kill the thirst there, guys. So we're going to let it warm up just a tad. I don't like my lagers warm, and I'll, I'll be right back when we do the final chug on this one. So, uh. Fairly tasty so far. Let's see where it ends up. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Very crisp, very clean guys. A very nice summer lager. 
Very crisp, refreshing, a little lemony, a little bready. Very refreshing on a hot summer day, guys. That's where I'm going to leave it. It is what it is. Uh, very, very pleasant beer. A lot, lot better tasting than the macro. So, guys, got the date on the bottle there. It tells you exactly when it was put in the bottle. Can't fault it for that. Guys, I'm going to give it a 6, which is a solid B. Decent beer. Definitely above average beer. So, if you've had this, give me some comments back on it. If you uh, if you hadn't and you see it, you, you better snatch it up quick because it's at the end of its life. Uh, it, it needs to be drank pretty quick here now, especially if it's been put in a bottle in May and here it is October. So, guys, that being said, give me some comments back on this one. If you liked it, loved it, didn't like it, whatever it was, whatever the deal may be, you know, come on back tomorrow. We're going to look at the friends. Join me then.